so I'm in Jalan Alo, which is a street full of food and it's in the center of Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Me and Hira are off to get some ready cut fruit. Come on Hira, let's go. Two mango. One. One mango and... and watermelon, papaya, oh, guava. Can't make my mind up. Dragon fruit? Dragon. I like, I like papaya. papaya. Yeah. papaya. How much is that? 10 ringgit. 10 ringgit, that's less than two pounds. One bottle, one cup, five ringgit. Two, Thank ten you. Ringgit. Thank you, have a good day. You too. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum Oh my God, the rain is getting heavy now. But you know what, it doesn't matter because it's warm outside, so it does not matter. Especially when you get this. I literally live on their fruit and it's their own fruit from their own country. It tastes great and it's freshly picked, ripened on the tree. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I need to take cover. Um, where are we gonna, let's go take cover, Hira. So in um, Malaysia, what you're gonna find is you always get rain. Sometimes you'll have dry days, but sometimes you get to the evening and you'll have this little rain spell, but the weather's still warm, so it doesn't bother me at all, but Today it was a little bit heavy, so I thought, you know what, we've got our fruit. We'll take a little stop to eat my fruit. <laughs> it's stuck, there it is. To eat my fruit, I'll take a break, but look over there. It's like fresh satay. I love satay. I love everything, the fact that everything's halal. One thing I did learn is when you come down here, you have to check that everything is halal because they have got Chinese in Malaysia and the Chinese are allowed to have pork. So just make sure that you are buying, but they're so good at making sure they tell you if you don't look Chinese, for example, um, or you're not a hijabi, then they will tell you um, that it is not halal, which is really cool. How much is it? Asher up. Asher up. Five. <laughs> Oh. Ashrin. Ashrin. Yeah. Ashra is 10 in Arabic, isn't it? Ashra, Ashra. So 20, 20 ringgits. Okay, I can do that. I'm trying to bring that like a straw. So we ate it here last time and they do something that resembles a stuffed brata. Look at this. Nice. The scallion pancakes. Jackfruit with sticky rice. Hello. Are you on TikTok? <laughs> oh, well, 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 well. So it came in December. Yeah. Uh, have you found a place yet? Yeah? No, but I've done it. I've done the exchange contract. So I'm just, my sister was just talking about you today. Okay, got it. How long are you for? We're, we're here for until next weekend, but not Kuala Lumpur. We're going Langkawi. Oh, we're going to go Langkawi next week as well. Oh, some, at some point, I don't know why, I'm going to hire a car and we're just going to go drive. That's funny. And, um, I was just watching yeah. your TikTok just now. Yeah. Where are you from? We're from London. Yeah. East? East, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 East. You're good, good look me, all that. What about Green you? Street. You're from Green Street? No, 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 we're Gravesend. Gravesend, oh, Gravesend. That's where I'm from. Where are you from? Yeah. So, Mango Secret Rice. 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 Mango Secret Yeah, no, I don't. That was cool, wasn't it? The chances of that happening. But then, you know, there's loads of like Londoners who come on holiday here. So let's see who else we meet. Anyway, let's go eat. Do you know what the really funny thing is? I came here, today's my second time. And I just felt like I was at home. I knew that Malaysia was going to be a place that would make me feel at home. And after coming back here again, it just cements it. I feel like this is where I was meant to be all my life. So let me show you where the foreigners hang out, shall I? Over here. Oh, let me do another one. Okay, so I'm at this store here. So it looks like fruits. It looks like brown dried up strawberries. I'm just gonna ask the fella what it is. 
What are these? This is a snap fruit. Who? It's snap fruit. Snap. It's snap. Snake. Snap fruit. Come here. Come here. Come here. <gasps> Does it taste nice? Is it sweet? Sweet. So can I have, say, four or five of these? Yeah. Yeah, do I just take it? One kilo, 20 ringgit. That's fine, just give me four. Yeah, one kilo, one kilo. Good choice, you can choice. I don't know how to choose, what's the best one? How many, five pieces? Five's fine, yeah, that's enough. I know, I know what these are, these are lokart. Pakistan, they come from Pakistan. Oh! <laughs> Quick, get out! Showers. And what are these? Water apple. It's what? Water apple. A water apple. I, I had these and actually they're really good. Look at those over there. And what about these? They look like potatoes. Go, go. Is that sweet? Really? How do you eat it? Just like that? Oh my gosh, it's like a lychee. Not lychee, this one, this one, same lychee. Mm. That's good. Okay, try, try this. I'll have, um, I'll have some of those, please. <laughs> okay, you, you pick one. Okay, try, 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 try. Can open? Mm. These are really good. Hmm. I'll have some of them. Uh, how many in a kilo, roughly? 20. Yeah, but how many do we get? Like, how many? Is that, how okay, many is that? Two. That's a great thing to just sit and nibble on and eat. Two. one kilo. Is it one? One kilo. Okay, so I'll have one of those and then I'll have one kilo of these ones as well, please. Come back. See what I mean, right? You get fresh fruits, you get unusual fruits. In England, it would be called a super fruit because they've never met it before. The best we're going to get is tomato, tomatoes, fruit actually. Apples, pears, bananas, blueberries. Here you get all of this. This is where your real vitamins, your nutrition comes from. I might have to stop popping pills. You never know. That looks interesting though. I want to, I want to open that. How do you eat this one? Show me. I want to do it on video. This, this is just phenomenal, isn't it? This one one kilo? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> it's kind of like a crispy pear. But very sour. I swear. Honestly, the, you, the, 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 the choice of fruits is phenomenal. When you come to a place like this, look at that, look. I'm kidding you not, this is good stuff. It's a snake. Because it looks like a snake. I've just met my favourite fruit and now I'm being told that the fruit comes in various forms and I wasn't told this. So let's learn about durian, shall we? So this one is called... Yeah, uh, this one uh, sweet creamy. Sweet creamy? Yes, yeah, creamy. Oh, no, this but this one says red corn, red this one black corn. Yeah, another, uh, this type, this is the Musang King is on number one. Okay. Okay, the black corn, red corn, and 101. So that's like the best? The best. And then that's the second best? Yeah. Third best, fourth yeah, best? Yeah. So how do I know, how do I know that I'm you buying the best? First time we take this. First okay, time. right. This one very strong for you. Oh, it's okay because it's not my first time. Yeah. Last time I came, I ate durian every day. Yeah. So why don't I try this you one? Try this one. Okay, is it not raining? Let me put my umbrella down. I'll pay for it. I'm just going to do a video. Okay. Oh, this is the thing where there's ten ringgits. Okay, one second. I'm going to. Okay, this is apparently this is the best one. This is like the king of all durians, and apparently it's the worst smell. It doesn't smell to me. I don't know what people's problem is, seriously. Oh, it's strong. This one's strong. 
There's a bit of this one's a bit stronger. Oh, it's good though. Is, is it okay? Yeah. It's, it's nice. I love it. I love you love it. Mm, I love it. Come on, remember? <laughs> it's so and you know what? It's a super fruit. This one's quite strong. What do you think? Mm. Mm. It's really bad though. <laughs> Here on. So I stuffed my face with the Mustang of durian. Apparently he said he's going to be too strong. Oh, okay. So this is what it looks like. I mean, it feels quite ouch. Shit. I wasn't going to do that. Um, but yeah, so I had the strong one and you thought that I couldn't eat that. Is a strong one. That's the strong one. Yeah, strong one. So now, what does that make me then? Does that make me the queen of durian? Because I managed to eat this one. Yeah, she's a king durian. Durian is a uh, king of the fruit. King of the fruit. Uh -huh. Durian is king of the fruit. The Musang king is number one. Number one. The ma oh, Musang king. Musang king. Yes. I'm going Mustang. Yes. <laughs> he is the Mustang. He's the Mustang. Oh my God, I wanted some coconuts as in coconut water, and look what there is. It's seven ringgits for a whole fresh coconut. That's like just over a pound. I'm pretty sure I paid about six, seven pounds in Green Street for just one. So it's Chinese New Year here in Malaysia, okay, and they're doing a ceremony where they're doing some prayers, and this is how they do it. So I'm out in uh, Jalan Alor, and we bumped into these guys who thought I spoke English for some reason. I don't know why. What's the giveaway? <laughs> and so, America, studying, America. studying so, in Singapore. Studying in Singapore. I just saw Saira. I, just, I, I don't know why. I just I just want to say she just hi. Stopped me. And um, she's telling me about what she does, why she's in KL. So I thought. Of course. Yeah. yeah. She's telling me she's an influencer, so I had to stop by. I had to talk, you know. Yes. Canada, but born in London. Knightsbridge. <laughs> Not like us <laughs> South Londoners. <laughs> she's from the posher side of town. <laughs> so, anyways, there last night they're studying in Singapore. So why did you study here? Why? I think uh, it's like a beautiful city, first of all. Yeah, but why didn't you study in the USA? I already studied in the USA. Okay, so you studied there and then you've come here to finish off? I'm, uh, I'm halfway done. Okay. Halfway done, but it's such a pretty city and we get to travel to places like this yeah. and it's good. It's my first time in Asia ever. Well, this is my second time in Asia ever because I came in December and I decided I'm going to live here. So this is my living. Uh, yes, <laughs> just literally. But what was I going to say? Happy no, days, traveling. Uh, we said we should never like we should try our best not to work for other people even if we're earning less money it's better to work for ourselves because then we can understand our true potential that's and right that's, that's the yeah. best thing we can do especially as young individuals when you work for someone they're gonna do that to your wings exactly. right if you work for yourself you can do this your brain is open you're thinking you're expanding you still work for somebody like work for corporate see the capacity of what big is you got to see big to think big. 
Thank you. 